Most people don't even realize that you can draw in Final Cut Pro. I'll show you how to draw lines, arrows, and circles all in Final Cut Pro without any artistic skills required. And at the end, I'm gonna hook you up with some animated icons and symbols all for free. All right, I wanna draw a line underneath my guy as he's walking here. So I'll go to the generator browser by clicking on this button in the upper left-hand corner. And I'll go down to generators and I'm looking for solids. And I'll move my playhead to the beginning of my clip and I'll select the custom solid color generator and press Q to attach it. It's a little bit long, so I'll skim my playhead here to the end and select the generator and press option right bracket to trim it. Now I'll open up the effects browser by clicking on this button on the right hand side or pressing command five. And then go down to masks and keying and drag and drop draw mask onto the generator. You'll see here we need to add a control point. So I'll click once and then click again and I'll press return. And now we have a line. Go to the video inspector. If you don't see it, click on this button with the three sliders and then click on the video inspector icon and you'll see our mask effect here. Click on this arrow next to control points and let's set X to negative 600 and Y to zero and then point two to 600 and Y to zero. Now we have a straight centered line. All right, let's turn our feather up. Let's go to about 30 and then let's put our fallout to about negative 1000. Now we have a solid color line. That's a little thicker than I want for this example. So I'm gonna take the feather down to 20. Let's go to the generator inspector and let's change the color. I'll click on this color picker and let's do a purple. Click on this line here and let's move it down below. I want it down here. Now, let's go back to the video inspector. Okay, when I moved the line down, you'll notice it changed my control points. That's fine. I just want them all to be round numbers. So I'll put negative 600 and negative 280 and negative 280. There we go. And we're going to animate this. I'm gonna to go to the beginning of my clip. I'm going to add a keyframe. So I'll click this little button here and I want to bring point two over to point one. So I'll set it to negative 600 and press enter. And then I'm gonna move forward about a second. And then I'm gonna add another keyframe and I'm going to put point two back to 600. And let's watch that. Nice, our line animates or draws on underneath our hiker. I can change the timing of it by selecting my generator and pressing Control V to bring up the animation editor. And you'll see these two dots here, that's our keyframes. If I wanna make it faster, I'll bring my keyframes closer together. If I want it to be slower, I'll spread them out more. Here it is a little bit faster. And here it is with the animation happening over the entire duration of the clip. And then to close that animation editor, I'll just press Control V. All right, I wanna draw a circle around this sweet castle. Go to the elements category in the generators browser and then add this shapes generator to your timeline above your clip. Let's trim the end of it by pressing option right bracket. And we have a circle here, but we can't see through it. So select it, go to the generator inspector and turn off fill. And let's set our color. We'll do our purple here and let's make it thicker. And you can see that there's a drop shadow on there. I don't want a drop shadow, so I'm gonna turn that off. Now we can move this circle around. We'll put it right over our castle, but it's kind of big. I want it smaller. So I'll go to the video inspector and let's decrease the scale, that's better. And I need to adjust it back to the center. There we go. That works, but it doesn't draw on or animate. So let's go to our transition browser. Click this button on the right hand side or press Control Command 5 to open it up. And go down to this section called Wipes. Drag and drop this transition called Clock onto your clip. You'll see it added a transition at the beginning and at the end. Here's what that looks like. That's pretty good, but not quite what we want. So select the first transition and hold down shift and click and drag this on-screen control up to 90 degrees. Now let's play that back. Now the circle draws a circle around that castle. This on-screen control right here controls how hard of an edge we have. It's pretty soft right now, so I'll just click to bring it down and we can make it completely sharp like that. Or we can add a little bit of softness. I'm a little softy at heart, so let's add just a little softness. And here's how that looks. That looks pretty good, but look at the animation. It's starting off to the side and not in the middle of the circle. So I'll just move this on-screen control right to the middle of the circle. And now that looks much better. I can also make the drawing happen faster by clicking and dragging on the end of the transition to shorten it to make it faster or longer to make it slower. And then this end transition will do the same thing, but we need to adjust it a little bit. First, let's set that up to 90 degrees and then let's put it right about in the center of the circle and let's pull that softness down. Here's our circle drawing on, highlighting our castle and then animating off. Don't you love that drawing technique for a circle? It is so handy. If you're enjoying this video and I'm doing a good job, I'm helping you, will you please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up? Thanks, and in just a second, I'm gonna show you how to get those animated icons for free. But first, let's draw an arrow.
Okay, now I have an arrow on top of my castle and I want to point it out, but I want the arrow to draw on. This is just a transparent PNG, so I'll select my clip and go to the video inspector and let's change the size. This looks pretty good. And then I'll right click on the viewer and select transform. And I want to turn it upside down like so and move it over to be above the castle. There we go. Then I'll press done. Now I'll select my clip and I'll press option G to turn it into a compound clip. And then I'll press enter or click on OK after I've given it a name. Then I'll go to the effects browser, go down to masks and keen, and let's add draw mask to the compound clip. I need to add some control points. Before I do that though, I want to change the shape type from Bezier to B spline. This will give me nice curves. So I'm gonna start here at the arrowhead and I'm just gonna add these points around the arrow. And then when I get back to the beginning, I'll click on the first point to close it. And then I can tweak it if I need to by clicking and dragging on these points. Now in the inspector, let's take our feather and put it down really far. I can click and drag down on this number to go even further. I wanna go until it's completely gone. Negative 300 looks about right. Then I'm gonna to go to the beginning of my clip and I'm gonna set a keyframe for feather. We'll go in about a second and let's set feather back to zero. And let's play that back. So the arrow kind of draws on starting at the head and working its way through the tail. I think it's a little bit slow. So I'll select my clip and press control V to bring up the animation editor. I want to make it faster, but I also want it to start later. So I'll grab the first keyframe and I'm going to drag it to the right to start later. And then I'll adjust the second keyframe. All right, let's give that a try. Oh yeah, that looks way better. We can also add some drawings to our videos. Go to the title browser and go to sign pop. Let's drag and drop this owl above this clip of this couple hiking. And then at the end, I want to trim it. So I'll press option right bracket and I want to zoom in on this section of my timeline. All right, so out of the box, this guy animates on and we can use these on-screen controls to make him smaller or bigger and we can move him around and we can also rotate him. Let's see how that looks now. Nice. If I select the clip and go up to the title inspector, I can also change the color of my owl. Let's give him purple eyes. I can also change the in and out animation. So I'll go, instead of bouncing in, I want to scale or grow in and I want to fade out. So here's how that looks. Our owl grows in and then at the end fades away. I can also add animations during the title. I can add a drop shadow if I want. And then these controls are tied to the on-screen controls. As you can see, there's a ton of different drawings and icons in here. If you're interested in these drawings, I added it to my all-star pack. It's 99 titles, transitions, and effects built exclusively for Final Cut Pro. It's worth $198, but I wanna give it to you for free as a gift. So just click the link in the description below. Happy editing.